This video will show you how to assemble a Birotor Plus measuring unit. For this project, you'll need the measuring unit, two rotors, two end plates in which the bearings have already been inserted using a press, one pulse output gear, two timing gears, 12 retaining screws, two locking rings, two lock nuts, a locking screw, locking washer, and four O-rings. The tools needed are a rubber mallet, a wrench, an Allen wrench, a blocking stick, a metal shim stock with a value of six thousandths, a suitable elastomer lubricant, and a brush. First, attach the O-rings to the rotor shafts. There are four O-rings, one for each end of each rotor shaft. Roll the O-ring into the groove. It should be a tight fit. Next, find the end of the measuring unit that has two dowel pins. For this process, we'll refer to this end as the front. This is the meter outlet, where we'll install the timing gears later. Assemble the plate over the dowel pins. Tap it into place with the rubber mallet. Install the six retaining screws. Use your Allen wrench to tighten them firmly. Next, turn the measuring unit over to find the end with four dowel pins. We'll call this end the back. This is the meter inlet, where we will install the pulse output gear. Lubricate the O-rings on the rotors to aid in assembly. Fit the rotors together to create a tight seal. You'll notice the rotors are stamped left and right. Since you are inserting the rotors in the back and pushing them toward the front, be sure to insert them into the measuring unit reversed, with left on your right side and the one marked right on your left. Once the rotors are installed, lubricate the O-rings again. Install the end plate. Tap it into place with the rubber mallet. Then install the six retaining screws. Use the Allen wrench to tighten them firmly. Locate the right rotor by finding the stamped letter R. Install the pulse output gear. It's slotted. Use the locking washer and bolt to lock it down. Keep the rotor from spinning using your blocking stick and tighten the locking screw with your Allen wrench. Be sure the washer engages in the slot. Return to the front of the unit and match the timing gears to their corresponding rotors. Note that the pulse output gear is attached to the right-hand rotor in the back. The timing gear teeth are sharp, so please be careful. Install the right timing gear. Place the locking ring over the shaft. Install the lock nut with the rounded shoulder toward the measuring unit. Again, lock the rotors with the blocking stick and tighten the lock nut with your wrench. Be sure to tighten this gear. To aid with assembly, the next gear will be left loose. Now install the second gear. Note that the gears have timing marks. They must align with each other. Install the locking ring and locking nut, again with the rounded shoulder facing the unit. Remember to leave this gear loose. Place your metal shim stock between the rotors, making sure it's deep enough to be engaged between the rotors. Once again, block the rotors with your blocking stick. Now tighten the second timing gear. Once the gear is tightened, remove the block and the shim. The rotors should rotate freely without rotor-to-rotor -rotor contact or scrubbing. If the rotors make contact, 
Remove the second gear and repeat the steps for setting the clearance. If necessary, adjust the clearance by striking the gears with your rubber mallet while you spin the rotors. Continue this process until you feel it rotate smoothly without scrubbing. Your assembly is complete.